Yeah, good evening. Um, a little bit of a disjointed game. I mean, understandably so. Trying to find the rhythm of the game, trying to go back in the emotions of the game from a couple of weeks ago. And I uh, thought we did just that. I thought we found good rhythm to the game. And uh, yeah, we couldn't hurt them in transition in the moments that we, uh, that we created. Um, and I thought we were on the gas pedal for pretty much and controlled the pretty much the half until we give up two moments of transition ourselves and get punished. So those are the stakes in the MLS and Dallas is a good team. So when you give up those moments um, and you're not you know, ready um, yeah, to defend in the transition, unfortunately there's a little bit of space and uh, we get punished. Go ahead, Tom. Brandon, in a game like this where it's only 40 minutes, it's also a case where you make a mistake like that, there's not much time to be able to, to turn it right? Sure. I mean, we had a lot of time to, I felt, you know, for the first 15, 20 minutes, 25, I don't know. I thought we created quite a few good looks there, Tom. And, uh, you know, we take one of those chances, um, whether it was from the set piece or whether it was from the run of play. I thought we were in the game. You know, I thought we prepared well for the game. I thought, uh, yeah, we were, yeah, we were on the front foot for, for a pretty much chunk of the half and or the 40 minutes. Um, but like I said, the quality in this Dallas team is really high. Um, and, and when you give up uh, some moments in transition, Ferreira and, you know, company will, will hurt you. Next we'll go to Justin Horniker. Coach, given the yellow card to Bartlett in this game, and of course from the previous 50 minutes, the yellow card from Tim Parker, how much did you feel like that impacted in how closely they were, not say guarded, but marking the defenders on those counterattacks? No, I think it, it, it plays in the subconscious for sure, you know, and uh, we asked the referees to do a good job of how they manage the game as well. Um, so, you know, I, I need us to be ready for, you know, we need to play with that in mind, yes, but also we need to be true to the principles. And if we are alert, sharp, and ready to defend on the front foot, then I think, yeah, we can get away with that. And, you know, if we make the first foul, we spoke to the refs, they said on the first foul, don't worry, it's like not a, unless it's really egregious in a transition, you pull a shirt or something. But there was a bit of leniency planned for that. So, you know, I don't think there's any excuses there. Next, we'll go to Matt Baker. Coach, last few games, you found a really strong lineup that included uh, Kyle Heber, Jabulu Blome. Were there any thoughts given to some immediate subs in this game to kind of slot those guys in? No. I mean, if we go back to that game against Dallas, I thought that was one of our best halves of the year, you know, and uh, I thought we were tactically on point. I thought uh, physically we competed and combative. Uh, we were combative against them. So from that point of view, you know, Johnny Nelson was and is a starter on our team. So, I mean, you know, there's no... Yeah, there was no doubt in, in the coaching staff's mind that we should get him off straight away. There was no doubt for Amigi Perez. I mean, yeah, there's actually I thought Migi did again a very good job tonight. And uh, we know that Jabulo, you know, he will probably be eligible for the Galaxy game um, to start. And then uh, he goes off to South Africa for the national team. So uh, we need to prepare Migi, you know, and keep him ticking over with minutes. So for me, we trust this team and we trust our squad. And again, yeah. I don't see any reason that we would have needed to change. Yeah. We'll go back to Tom. Right, and, and not that it had any effect on the game, but just how weird was today? And how did you change things for you know, the unusual occurrence of a 40-minute game? No, I thought the travel was on point, you know, uh, you know, wheels up to wheels down was an hour 14, you know, which is really good. We can accommodate for that and, and compensate that. Uh, we had a really good rhythm, got in early, had the really from, from about 11, 11 o'clock in the morning, we had a normal match day routine, so which was awesome. You know, it was really good. Uh, yeah, I don't think it played a role into, into anything of our preparations. Uh, we had a really good warm up. Uh, we started the game really well. We controlled the game for most parts. And yeah, so if we go away here at 0 0, that's the only thing that bugs me, right? So to play 40 minutes and do all this and invest so much in terms of the logistics, you know. Um, not to walk out of here with, with a point at least um, and another clean sheet, you know, that's the most frustrating thing. Go ahead, Justin. Coach, to kind of build off Tom's question, how much does this kind of shortened play, does it impact the team more than just a hard practice just because of the mentality to get up and be on or is it kind of similar in terms of like fatigue levels when you're tracking it on the season? No, I think I think it's a moment for us to to grow, right? I mean, obviously the game is always a race to the first goal. Um, 
but I thought those were some of the moments for us. You know, we looked pretty good in, in possession. We were creating about a, a bunch of chances, but how do we have a balanced attack? How can we be in positional profile or positional discipline and awareness um, to think about if we lose possession of the ball. How close can we be? Where's the proximity of our of their most dangerous players? So, you know, we, we always have to take that into to consideration. But um, yeah, it, it's a it's a crazy one. Like I said, you know, in the previous statement, you know, this it was not a. I mean, it's nice to win games on the road. It's not a must win, but the score is zero zero and forty minutes to play. So, the most thing is that we give up two shots and concede two goals. Tom. Yeah, when you. How does this game fit into the big picture? Because, yeah, now you have a day off and then train for the Galaxy. Does it, Did you things to take away? Yeah, I mean, listen, the way we track the blocks and how many games we track, this game falls into a couple of weeks ago. So, you know, that was kind of done and dusted already. <laughs> <laughs> we had moved on and, and right now we're in, you know, uh, I know we lose this game and it falls into this calendar on this day. But I mean, for us, you know, in terms of the cycle, um, yeah, the next game is on Sunday. The next game is Galaxy um, and it's disappointing. It's frustrating, um, you know, but I don't want any bad negative energy in the locker room. I don't want any bad negative energy in and around the team. Um, so from that point of view, we have to, you know, knowing this was a once off, hopefully, um, you know, in terms of yeah to play a game so many weeks later and it's continued the game from this you know and again just they had different lineup you know so obviously they bring in different guys two different new players in the team so you know we weren't you know we have a fit and healthy squad so yeah we didn't we didn't need to tinker too much or, and change too much but you know these little things are all ingredients you know either it works or it doesn't and today it didn't work we'll wrap up with a final question with matt baker Coach, I know obviously a 2-0 loss, everybody's going to focus on the negative to an extent, but do you do you feel like there are any individual players who had some particularly strong performances in this 40 minutes or groups of players that you saw some really positive things out of? Yeah, I mean, I, listen, I thought Jake Jake looked all right um, going forward with the ball. You know, we had a couple of rotations and what have you, and Jake uh, played played really well. Um, you know, I thought Thomas Ostrak in tight spaces is always a tricky customer. Um, yeah, Miggy Perez, I thought controlled, you know, a little bit of the midfield because Edu had a bit more freedom as well, obviously, as usually he does. Um, but yeah, I, I think it, well, the game was too frantic in terms of standout performers and, and what have you. I thought as a group, I thought we, we gave a good account of ourselves, you know, in, in many parts with the ball. Um, and that's an area we'd like to grow as well. But I mean, yeah, against the ball. That has to be our main bread and butter, and uh, you know that's that's what makes us different from any other team in the league. So the minute we don't do that, you know, that's for me the bigger sign and, and the bigger moment to have some correctional learnings from this game as a group collectively. Because I thought collectively we let ourselves down in that department. Coach, thank you for joining us. Appreciate your time. Safe travels back to St. Louis. Thank you. See you. Good evening. Thanks, Brad. All right, guys, we're gonna go with Tim Parker before we head out. So go ahead, Tom. Uh Tim, just what's a game like this? You know, you only got 40 minutes and you got to start fast and you don't have, if you make a mistake, you not much time to catch up. Just what, what was this like for you today? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think you kind of summed it up. Um, yeah, I thought we got off to a good start. I thought we had them where, where we kind of wanted to. We were playing in uh, the way we wanted to play in the first 25 minutes of that half. And then, yeah, you know, um, just let one get away from us, I think. Go ahead, Justin. Tim, obviously you've already served the yellow card suspension for this match, but how much is coming into this game being so disconnected from the first half with that yellow card already on the books? How does that affect your mindset when you're defending in this match? Yeah, I mean, it's something to keep in mind. Um, you don't want to pick up a silly second yellow in, in those instances, but um, yeah, I mean, it's a unique scenario. It's a unique, unique scenario that we haven't found ourselves, or at least I haven't found myself in before. So um, it was the first one for me tonight, too. Go ahead, Matt. Tim, Jesus Ferreira is one of the, the most dangerous attackers, I think, in the entire league. Um, what did you see out of him and, and how he kind of was able to get through the back line a little bit there? Yeah, you know, I think, um, yeah, you know, Jesus is a good player. Uh, he's a good finisher, and I think uh, his finish was really good. Um, but yeah, you know, I think, I mean, really, we kind of give them that opportunity, I think, uh, a little bit by just, you know, little mistakes, little mistakes here and there. One let slip away from us, and then, you know, the next thing they're in on goal. But 
uh, those kind of things can happen. They get away from us, but you know, it's something that we just gotta gotta turn around and go again on Sunday. Tom, this was another one of those cases. You, you had some chances, maybe you could have gotten an early goal, whether it's a Leuven free kick or something else. But just once again, the value of when this team scores first, that even in a forty-minute game, makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah. I think obviously we we pride ourselves on getting off to good starts, getting off to. Um, you know, scoring that first goal, the race to the first goal always, but um, it's not always going to happen. Tonight, obviously, we only had a 40-minute game, so we weren't really able to uh, recoup from it, um, and that's kind of the way it played tonight. How tough was it to bring the energy just at the start of this game, kind of jumping into the river, as it were? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, like I said, it's it was a unique experience for all of us, you know, something I think that was a first. Um, I thought, but I thought it was good. You know, I thought we were able to bring the energy pretty good uh, right away. We were able to be good on the ball, get into good some attacking, good into good some uh, good attacking places. Um, and yeah, like I said, I mean, we just didn't have the final product there. We didn't uh, capitalize on those opportunities, and I think we kind of let them off the hook a little bit tonight. Is it kind of easy to compartmentalize this game because it is so unusual? It's only forty minutes to put it in a box and pack it away somewhere now yeah yeah i'd say i'd say for us it's uh i mean i, I said it when we came into the locker room forget about it move on to sunday we're back at home that's all we can do did you feel kind of like a wasted day you had this you flew down there for 40 minutes and played a game and lost two nothing and you know, could have stayed home no nah, no day is a wasted day tom <laughs> we'll we'll wrap up with uh matt baker thank you too Tim, you mentioned uh, this game's over, looking forward to Sunday. What do you feel you could take away from this match going into Sunday against Galaxy? Yeah, you know, I think, like I said, the way we started the game. I thought we started it really well. Um, I think we have to be tighter in transition moments, um, a little bit more aggressive. And then, yeah, can we find those final balls to kind of get those final finishes and uh, finish off our attacks? Because we don't want to give away transition moments. We want to finish the attacks by getting over the end line. Tim, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Safe travels back. Thanks, guys.